Hi, I'm Mari Cahoon, and I'm Head of Food and Nutrition at Headington. And I'm Di Bates Brownsword, known as Mrs. BB. I also teach food nutrition, but I'm also the head of the lower school. Welcome to our new Food Nutrition Centre. The school, together with Kitchen Architecture, have put together these amazing food and nutrition facilities. All pupils now have access to top of the range um, equipment, including gag now, washing machines, dishwashers, cookers, etc. And they have a purpose built facility where they can enjoy their practical work. All the Headington pupils are really fortunate in that they get exposure to the food nutrition um, curriculum in year seven and in year eight. So they do uh, courses for at least six months in the creativity area. Um, also in upper four, they might choose to do the course, so they opt into it. And then we've got the GCSE classes, which have, we've had really, really healthy numbers, even when we were in the porter cabins. So it's great now that they can continue to have the uh, skills and exposure but also with these quality amazing kitchens. Also we have got after school clubs where we can offer various um, focuses on different courses and also the, um, the sixth form would get to come into our kitchens and they have an elective as well. One of the big differences in the classrooms is not only do the pupils have this purpose-built um, set of equipment, but we also have a demonstration area, which you may just be able to see behind us. Uh, this means that we can demonstrate, um, do spot demonstrations on the spot, and the pupils can then see how the recipe is done and then go and recreate it for themselves. In the past, we had to squish into the pupils' area, um, so this has been a, a real groundbreaking change for us. So upstairs, we have a fantastic chef's kitchen um, which is um, laid out with a dinner table for 12 people. And I think the, uh, the long-term thinking is that this will be able to be available for lettings and for benefactors dinners, um, as well as for pupils to carry out clubs. Um, it has a huge demonstration area and then the chef can then either provide the food for the pupils to taste or the pupils can then come down or the visitors can come down and recreate it themselves in the kitchens and then go back upstairs um, and eat it and enjoy. So overall, it's been a fantastic uh, move for us and we're thrilled with the results.